Good morning, everyone. It is absolutely beautiful out here. I had to come back to probably my favorite little lake for largemouth bass fishing. I was out here the other day, caught a few really nice ones before the wind picked up and blew me off the lake. It's supposed to be nice and calm this morning, so I figured I'd come back out here and give it another try. The sun should be peeking up above the trees over here in just a few minutes, so I don't want to waste any time. Let's hop in the kayak and get after them. So I was sitting at home last night trying to decide what lure I wanted to throw out here today and I was kind of going back and forth between the spook and one of the different mouse lures I have and then it hit me the lure that I have to try out here today is my grandpa's old Shakespeare swimming mouse. Now I have tried this lure before I threw it on the river a couple years ago and I got a couple nice smallmouth on it. Now this thing was in pretty rough shape when I pulled it out of my grandpa's tackle box. So I did replace the treble hooks. It was also missing the tail, so I retrofitted one off of a more modern mouse lure into there. But I really like the action of this lure. It's got a nice wobble to it. So we'll try to catch some big largies on that today. Man, the memories that come back to me just holding this lure. I remember when I was six or seven years old, fishing off the end of the dock with my grandpa. He was throwing this exact lure and I was amazed at the bass blowing up on it and caught a bunch of three and four pound bass and all I could think was, man, I hope one day I can catch fish like that. Well, today we're gonna see if we can catch fish like that. You know, for an old wooden lure, probably 50 or 60 years old. That thing's got some pretty sweet action to it. We'll see if the bass agree. It's a pike. Don't take my lure. I'd be so angry if I lost that thing to a pike. There aren't a whole lot of pike in this lake though, so. I'm kind of surprised I got this one actually. First fish of the day though on Grandpa's old swimming mouse. I go. I did see he had that line caught in his teeth. Yeah, we're definitely gonna retie that. Not much action out here yet, aside from that pike. This lake is really more of a quality over quantity type of lake though. Don't catch a whole lot of fish out here, but the ones I do catch are big ones. We'll keep covering water with that swimming mouse.
That looks like a bass. Oh yeah, that's a big bass. Oh my gosh, this is a freaking monster. Holy crap. Oh my God. This might be the biggest bass I've ever caught, you guys. Look at that thing. That is a monster. I can't believe that. We're gonna throw that on the scale. Jeez, look at that thing. All right, let's throw her on the scale. See what she weighs. Well, that right there is my new personal best. Six pounds, 11 ounces. On Grandpa's old swimming mouse lure. I cannot believe it. That one's for you, Grandpa. I had to get a couple pictures with that fish real quick. There's one more look at her. Let's send her on her way. Wow. I cannot believe that. On Grandpa's old swimming mows. Jeez, I am still shaking. I'm in disbelief. That just happened. Six pounds, 11 ounces. New PB. sitting out here in oh, 16 to 20 feet of water. I can see him rippling the surface in little schools. There's one right there. Oh, that looked like the bigger fish was chasing him. Oh, there's a wake. <laughs> Coming after my lure. I got him. That was sick. That was awesome. I was watching the ripples from the little bluegill over there and I saw a bigger wake coming in from the side. Oh man. Gave that swimming mouse a little action and he came right over to it. Jeez, that's probably the skinniest bass I've ever caught on this lake. Still a pretty nice fish though. What a perfect day to be out here. I haven't felt a gust of wind at all today.
It would be nice if it was overcast. I think it's supposed to be mostly clear today. Some clouds would probably help the top water bite a little bit, but we're finding a couple willing to hit that swimming mouse. There's another one. Just a little guy, but... Bass number three. You know, after that first one, I could have gone the rest of the day without catching a thing. And I still would have been thrilled. Beautiful out here. Oh, missed him. Oh. He came back for it three times. Maybe there's a couple of them over there. Come here, you. Well, there's another nice one on the old Shakespeare swimming mouse. It's 11 in the morning right now. That sun is shining. Bluebird skies. These guys are still willing to come up and hit that top water. Well, it's been an incredible morning. I still can't believe the size of that first bass I caught. New personal best for me by almost a pound. And to catch it on my grandpa's old Shakespeare swimming mouse. There's not another lure in this world I would have rather caught that fish on than the one I grew up watching my grandpa fish. Thank you, Grandpa. Thanks for teaching this kid how to fish. You're no longer with us, but I know you're still watching over me. I think it's time I retire that lure before a pike comes along and takes it. I'm gonna take it home and keep it someplace safe. It's been a day I'll never forget. I'm glad you guys came along with me. I better get out of here before I completely lose it. I'll see you guys next time.